Hello friends, welcome to the Rockbridge Regional Library Storytime. My name is Miss Wendy and today I have two special guests. Hi. Hi. Oh, it's Rose. Hi Rose, and who do you have there with you? Snowy the Snow Jaguar. Oh, Snowy the Snow Jaguar. Now you may or may not have noticed, but Snowy has some dance moves too. Turns out all the puppets here at the library know, love to dance. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so let's get started. We always start with our hello song. So the way that goes is we'll salute and say hello, and then friends are two fingers and they give each other a hug. And then it's time to say hello. So are you ready, Rose? Yeah. Here we go. One, two, three. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello again. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Awesome. Well, this week, Rose, we are going to continue our exploration of black authors, but this week it's going to be all about poetry. Rose, do you know what poetry is? Yes, like roses are red, violets are blue, that one is a poem. That's a poem, that's right. And poetry is more imaginative words, and it uses these imaginative words to share ideas and emotions and stories. And so this week, I'm going to read three wonderful <laughs> poems by three <coughs> wonderful poets. So we shall get to that in just a minute. But first, let's talk about what day of the week it is. Now, if you remember, I've got my little chart here that tells us. Let's see. First of all, we've got Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. How many days of the week is that, Rose? That is seven. Seven. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six and seven okay well let's sing our days of the week song you ready so we have if we hold up our seven fingers for our seven days and this is how it goes there's not eight one two three every week has seven days see how many you can say Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. What is today? So, Rose, what day is it today? Wednesday. Yay, Wednesday. You're right. Let's sing our song again. Seven fingers. You ready? Every week has seven days. See how many you can say. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. What is today? One more time. Today is Wednesday, friends. That means story time. Excellent. Okay, well, you know what? That only leaves one question before we begin to read. Can anybody guess what that is? If you're ready to stand upside down. <laughs> Are you ready to stand on your head? If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. She, okay? thinks, it, she thinks it's fine already. <laughs> One, two, three. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, clap your hands. What should we do next? We should do stand up side down. Oh, I can't wait, stand no, up side down. That's for sit real still. But what should we do that friends twirls. can do at home? Twirl. If you're ready for a story, do a twirl. If you're ready for a story, do a twirl. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, do a twirl. Woohoo! All right, here's what, what should we do next? <laughs> okay, okay, stop. Okay, what's next? Do jump as high. Jump up high? Jump around? 
Okay. No, jump you're not to jump on the couch, though. One, I was two, three. If you're ready for a story, jump up and down. If you're ready for a story, jump up and down. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, jump up and down. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> If you're ready for a story, sit real still. Okay, friends, time to sit down. If you're ready for a story, sit real still. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, sit real still. Hold it. Hold it. Freeze. How long can you hold it? Oh, okay, okay, that's it. That's as long as we can hold it. Okay, all right, my friends. Okay, okay, and <laughs> before I like to read, the first thing I do is I take five deep breaths, and that just brings oxygen into my body and helps my brain be ready to read. Okay, so you put your feet, you put your thumb and your first <laughs> finger together. And you take a deep breath in. Deep breath in. Hold it. Deep breath out. Middle finger and thumb. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Ring finger and thumb. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Pinky and thumb. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. And thumbs up because you like poems. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Very good. Okay, so let's read our first poem. This is called Hey Black Child. And it's by Eusini Eugene Perkins and illustrated by Brian Collier. Now Eusini, he is 89 years old, still with us. And this is a poem. She is almost 89. This comes to us from Little Brown and Company. Now he comes from Chicago and he's a poet and a playwright, which means he writes plays. He's an activist, which means he stands up for the things that he believes in. And he's also a youth worker. He's made a lot of contributions to the youth community in Chicago. And this poem was written back in 1975, 45 years ago, but it's still such a wonderful poem to read today. Hey, Black Child by Eusini Eugene Perkins. Oh, hey, sorry, illustrated by Brian Collier. Hey, Black Child, do you know who you are, who you really are? Do you see a shape of a continent anywhere? Yeah. Where? What is that? That's... North America? Africa. Africa. That's Africa. Do you know you can be what you want to be if you try to be what you can be? Hey, black child. Do you know where you're going? Where you are really going? Do you know that you can learn what you want to learn if you try to learn what you can learn? The piano. Hey, black child. Do you know you are strong? I mean, really strong. Did you, do you know you can do what you want to do if you try to do? what you can do. Hey, black child. What does she have? What do you think she's looking at? Be what you can be. Learn what you must learn. Do 
what you can do. And tomorrow, your nation will be what you want it to be. That's right. It's up to you. And there's a wonderful, wonderful author's note here that is really great to read, too. And I hope you enjoyed that poem. It's just a wonderful poem of encouragement to people and to children and specifically black children who may not always feel like they are worthy. And that is not true. So this, this author is reminding us of that. Okay. So let's get some of our wiggles out. It's about that time. And one of my favorite songs, which I did last week, which I would love to do again, the first time I ever learned this song was with Rose. So it's called Big Red Bus. Okay, are we ready? So here we go. Arms out, we've got a steering wheel, and we're gonna just go for it. And hopefully you can catch on as we go. Okay, well, Rose needs more space. Hopefully, wish me luck that this doesn't go. Yeah, that, that's good, right in front of me. Okay, one, two, yeah, one, two, three. Big red bus, big red bus, mini, 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 and a big red bus, big red bus, big red bus, mini, 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 and a big red bus, Ferrari, Ferrari, mini, 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 and a big red bus, Ferrari, Ferrari. Mini, 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 and a big red bus. Okay, jumbo jet, stick your arms out. One, two, three. Jumbo jet, jumbo jet. Helicopter, helicopter, jumbo jet. Jumbo jet, jumbo jet. Helicopter, helicopter, jumbo jet. A rocket, a rocket. Helicopter, helicopter, jumbo jet, a rocket, a rocket. Helicopter, helicopter, jumbo jet. All right, there's a big red bus for you. And flip in the air. And a little flip in the air from Rose. Okay, it's time for another poem. Oh, this is such a wonderful poem. By an amazing, amazing poet and author. So this, that no, that's the artwork of an artist called Jean Michael Besquad. I'm probably saying that wrong, but the poem is by Maya Angelou, and it's called "Life Doesn't Frighten Me." That's because it's a giant T-Rex in there with a crown. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is an inspirational poem, as as if reading from the perspective of a child. And just, life doesn't frighten me. So let's see what this is all about. And this comes to us from Stuart Tabori and Chang out of New York. Shadows on the wall, noises down the hall. Life doesn't frighten me at all. Bad dogs barking loud. Big ghosts in a cloud. Life doesn't frighten me at all. Mean old mother goose. Lions on the loose. They don't frighten me at all. Dragons breathing flame on my counterpane. That doesn't frighten me at all. That's not a dinosaur, I guess. <laughs> I go boo and make them shoo. I make fun way they run. I won't cry, so they fly. I just smile, they go wild. Life doesn't frighten me at all. Tough guys fight all about, all alone at night. Life doesn't frighten me at all. Panthers in the park, strangers in the dark. No, they don't frighten me at all. That new classroom where boys all pull my hair. Kissy girls with their hair in curls. They don't frighten me at all. 
Don't show me frogs and snakes and listen for my scream. If I'm afraid at all, it's only in my dreams. I've got a magic charm that'll I keep up my sleeve. This is my favorite line. I can walk the ocean floor and never have to breathe. Life doesn't frighten me at all. Not at all. Not at all. Life doesn't frighten me at all. The end. And there she is. Maya Angelou. Now, Maya Angelou is a poet and a memoirist and a civil rights activist. She was born in 1928 and lived to be 86 years old. She has won the Presidential Medal of Freedom and more than 50 honorary degrees in her life. She's written seven autobiographies, three books of essays, and several, several poems. And she's an amazing poet. So I hope you enjoyed that. Did you like that poem, Rose? I, I like the first one more. You like the first one more? Nice. Well, we've got a couple, another I'm one, too. I'm excited about that one because it looked like there, it was about a dinosaur. Right. Well, no. But it is about being brave. Right? Okay, so I have another song. When we were talking about poems, when we were talking about poems, one thing that a lot of poems have are rhyming words, words that rhyme, short little sentences. So this is a counting song, which you might already know. Which is also kind of a poem. It's it is rhyme. like a poem. And so many songs are actually poems put to music. So here's how it goes. You might know this, and the fun thing is we get to count to 10, all right? Oh. Ready? And here's how it goes. I can only count to eight because I'm eight. You can only count to eight because you're eight. Well, Rose isn't going to count all the way to ten, I guess. <laughs> okay, here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One side caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let him go again. Why did you let him go? Because he bit my finger so. Which finger did he bite? This little finger on my right. Which one is your right hand? That's right. Here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let him go again. Why did you let him go? Because he bit my finger so. Which finger did he bite? This little finger on my right. Make it, Very good. Make it eat. promise. No, make it eat. <laughs> okay, I've got one more set of poems. There's actually two poems I want to read you from this poet. Oh boy, Langston Hughes. Doesn't really get a whole lot better than that. Langston Hughes, um, now he was born in 1901 and he lived to be 66 years old. He was a poet, an activist, a novelist, a playwright. And playwright means that he writes plays and short stories. He is in the Chicago Literacy Hall of Fame. They have made postage stamps with his face on it. He has a middle and a high school named after him. He's won so many, so many awards. I can't even tell you. Is he like so famous like as famous <clears throat> as Gal Gadot? <laughs> He's more famous than Gal Gadot. Okay, this is book is this is a really wonderful book. It's called Poetry for Young People. And it's by Langston Hughes. I'm a young person. Exactly. So this is for you. Edited by David Rossell and Arnold Ramps Rampersad. And illustrated by Benny Andrews. Now there's t a lot of different poems in this book. But I've picked out two that I thought you would enjoy. And this comes to us from Sterling Publishing Company. Now the first one. Both of these both of these poems are about dreams. And it says what it says before the poem is this poem is another example of Hughes exploring the beauty of his African American identity. So here's how it goes. And let's look at the picture. To fling my arms wide 
in sun, some place in the sun, to whirl and to dance till the white day is done. Then rest at cool evening beneath a tall tree while night comes on gently, dark like me. That's my dream. To fling my arms wide in the face of the sun, dance, whirl, whirl, till the quick day is done. Rest at pale evening, a tall, slim tree, night coming tenderly, black like me. And if you look, he's dropping words that say dreams, 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 dreams. I bet there's a million dreams in there. <clears throat> I bet there is. Now this one, this one's called The Dream Keeper. Now this is what it says before we read the poem. Dreams are a recurring theme in Hughes's work. For Hughes, poets are not, not just dreamers, but dream keepers for their people. So here's how it goes. The Dream Keeper. <clears throat> Bring me all your dreams, you dreamers. Bring me all your heart melodies, that I may wrap them in a blue cloud cloth, away from the two rough fingers of the world. So he's saying, I will take your dreams and I will protect them. So again, this is just filled with wonderful poems that are great for children. That was a short one. And I suggest checking this out because there's a lot of really wonderful poems. So I hope you enjoyed that. Okay. Good. Well, this has been a very fun month getting to explore lots of different black authors and poets who have so many wonderful stories to tell. And um, I'm really glad that we had a chance to do that together. And I hope you liked the poetry. So next week... We will be back again on Wednesday. Don't forget that you can now come into the library by appointment. You just have to give a call. And you can come on in and browse some books and find some new things you like. But until then, let's remember, we've got to wash our hands, okay? Then we can have a snack. Like then we can have a snack. <laughs> okay, tops and bottoms, my friends. We'll do it twice. One, two, three. Tops and bottoms, tops and bottoms, in between, in between. Rub them all together, rub them all together, now they're clean, squeaky clean. Again! Tops and bottoms, tops and bottoms, in between, in between. Rub them all together, rub them all together, now they're clean, squeaky clean. All right, Rose. Until next week, my friends, we shall, she said, well, we'll see. See you later, alligator, in a wild crocodile. Give a hug, ladybug. Blow a kiss, jellyfish. See you soon, big baboon. Out the door, dinosaur. Take care, underwear. That one's for you. Wave goodbye, butterfly. We'll see you next time, friends. Have a great day. Bye, bye.